Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all well and having a lovely, lovely day. So for today's video, I'm going to be eating only Halloween food for 24 hours. Now, I feel like this is going to be quite difficult to find Halloween themed foods because Halloween is mainly just sweets and treats. So it's going to be hard to find like actual meals. Like what am I going to have for breakfast, lunch and dinner? So in an ideal world, I would have like got all the food yesterday and then like just been able to eat it today. But because I was working all day yesterday I didn't have a chance to get any food so I had to get up early this morning on my day off just so that I could go out to some supermarkets and have a good look for some food I bet I'm gonna get back like so late and have the latest breakfast ever but what else could I do it was the only option so yeah I'm gonna head to I think Asda first and see what I can get there and then we're just gonna take it from there I'm trying to avoid Tesco because last year I did a Halloween mukbang um, and I went to Tesco and bought lots of like Halloween things themed food so I've already tried those so I want to try like different foods in this video so I'm going to try not go to Tesco and just try go pretty much anywhere else but yeah let's just get into the video and I hope you enjoy it so I've made it to Asda let's go and have a look and hope that I'm in luck so Asda wasn't a complete fail but it didn't exactly go how I wanted it to so I didn't get everything that I needed so I've now actually had to come all the way into town which is really annoying um, but I'm gonna try Iceland because I feel like hopefully they might have something for my dinner because if not I have no idea what I'm gonna eat I can't just eat sweets for my dinner so um, yeah I'm gonna get a parking ticket and then go and have a look in Iceland I've never been in Iceland before and I am back home Iceland was such a good shout because I managed to get something for my dinner which I'm so happy about um, but anyways you'll see that when it's dinner time but now it's time for me to have breakfast finally so my plan for breakfast I couldn't see anything like ready-made that was Halloween themed that would do my breakfast so I thought I need to improvise so I got these like cookie cutters that are like Halloween themed and I thought I could just like cut my toast into that shape but I also got eggs so I'm not sure I might try like cut a shape out of the toast I don't really know what I'm planning to do but I'll show you it once it's made <laughs> So I've cut out the ghost shapes from my bread and now I'm going to crack an egg and separate the egg whites from them. So now I've got my bread in the pan and I'm just going to wait for it to go like golden brown then I'm going to turn it over and then hopefully pop the egg white in here and then it will hopefully form into an egg and stay there and look like a ghost. <laughs> let's hope it's working i don't know if it's supposed to be making that sizzling sound <laughs> okay guys so here is my awesome ghost toast this looks so cool if i was more prepared and organized i would have something to like add eyes to it but you can really tell that that's a ghost anyways without the eyes i cannot wait to have this because i'm literally having my favorite thing that i always have for breakfast which is eggs on toast but just Halloween themed. I also did make another slice. I'm having two slices of ghost toast um, But this one was the one that turned out best so I wanted to show you that And also I was just getting my thumbnail, but I will show you the other one It just doesn't look as good as this, but oh my gosh I'm well chuffed with that and it was really easy to make like even I could make it guys So there we go. That's my breakfast two slices of ghost toast. This one turned out better than this one I don't know why this went so bubbly and has like hair bubbles in it but I'm sure it will still taste the same. That tastes so weird, guys. I love it so much. I've never made like any other egg before apart from scrambled egg. I think I once attempted to make a boiled egg, but that went really badly. Guys, my breakfast was so good. I was so happy that I decided to go with that. So maybe it was a good thing that I couldn't find anything like pre-made in like Asda or anything that was Halloween themed for breakfast. I kind of had to just, you know, use my brain and come up with an idea. But I'm still kind of hungry, so I'm literally just gonna eat these shapes that I cut out. So I'm just eating bread as well for my breakfast because I love bread and they're in the shapes of ghosts, so technically they're Halloween themed. 
I'm feeling quite hungry again, so I think I'm gonna head downstairs and make my lunch. I'm really nervous about making this because, I don't know, I just feel like it's something really easy, but I feel like I'll just manage to mess up somehow. So again, there wasn't anything in the supermarkets that was like pre-made, like Halloween themed food that you could have for your lunch. It was basically just all sweets. So I bought some hot dogs and I bought some pastry and I'm basically gonna attempt to wrap the pastry around the hot dogs so that they look like mummies. <laughs> and these are gonna be called hot dog mummies. <laughs> I don't even know what the hell I'm doing, but yes, that is my life. I'm gonna wrap pastry around hot dogs just so that I can eat them because today I can only eat Halloween themed food. <laughs> no wonder my dad actually just takes the mick out of me when I film videos like this. He's like, how old are you? And I'm like, yeah, I know, I'm 21 and I'm trying to make my hot dogs look like mummies. <laughs> so I got this puff pastry from Asda. I have no idea. Oh wait, it says it's already rolled. So I think I just need to cut it into strips and then wrap them around the hot dogs and then put them in the oven and hopefully that's it. Oh, sorry. <laughs> So I've just finished preparing my mummy hot dogs or whatever they're called. That was actually, whoa, they're rolling. That was like easier than I thought it would be. Obviously it's not perfect and it looks like a two year old is just like played with Play-Doh because I bet like any of you guys watching this can do a better job. They look so messy, but oh well. Anyways, I'm gonna pop them in the oven now and hopefully they turn out nice. It's basically the same idea as like pigs and blankets apart from it's hot dogs. So yeah, I think it'll taste really good. Are you prepared to see my lunch? Oh my gosh, look how cute these are. Wait till I get a better angle. Again, I didn't really have anything for the eyes. I thought like something like mustard would show up, but all I had was ketchup. I don't like mustard, I don't like ketchup, I don't like brown sauce. I literally hate every sauce, but um, I thought that that would be good for the eyes, but all I could find was ketchup and then I tried to put like little dots for the eyes, but you can't even see it because Obviously hot dogs are like brownie red as it is, so you can't really even see the eyes, but just know that they're there. <laughs> so yeah, these are my mummy hot dogs and if you look very, very closely, you can see the little eyes on them. But I actually think these are really cute, but I don't know why I made so many. I think I just got carried away with wrapping the pastry around because it was really fun. And now I have four hot dogs to eat, which is quite a lot. I'm actually so impressed with how these turned out. I mean, I haven't tried them yet, but I just think they're so cool. They look so awesome. And yeah, I don't like ketchup, but there's only a tiny little bit, so. Mmm. That is amazing. That is actually such a good lunch, oh my gosh. I was worried that the pastry wasn't quite ready because it said 10 to 15 minutes. I literally left it in the oven for like 20 minutes. But it still looked quite pale, but now that I taste it, it's nice and crispy. So it is ready, it just didn't really change colour. But oh my gosh, this is good. Oh my goodness, it is so cold. I cannot warm up today. But anyways, I have just been sat doing some of my editing. Also, look how cool my laptop is now that it's all decorated. If you watch my vlogs over on my vlogging channel, then you will have already seen this. But yes, my laptop is now Friends themed and I absolutely love it. So yeah, I'm gonna take a little break from editing and have a snack. So I got this cute little gingerbread biscuit um whilst i was in asda and it's so cute look at it i'm not like overly keen on gingerbread like it's not my favorite thing i will eat it it's just a very strong taste but like i'll eat it but i mainly just wanted to get it because it was really cute like look how adorable that little pumpkin face is so i just had to get it <laughs> it's adorable i don't even want to eat it it's so cute Oh, I feel bad eating them. It's actually all right. It's just like, not my favorite thing. I wouldn't just like pick this as a snack over other things. 
So I'm about to get my dinner organized. And you know how I said I went to Iceland and it was such a good shout? Well, you're about to find out why. They actually had Halloween themed food that I could eat for dinner. I was so surprised. So the first thing I got um, are these mummy prawns. Now, I don't like fish, <laughs> but I was just happy that I actually found something that's gonna be filling for my dinner. Like, even if I don't like it, I can probably force myself to eat it. But yeah, they're mummy prawns because again, they're wrapped up like mummies, like my hot dogs were. And then, I got these, I know, these are so awesome. So basically, you know how you get turkey dinosaurs? They're basically the best thing in the world. And if you ask any kid like, what's your favorite thing to have for dinner? I bet they say turkey dinosaurs, because they're just so awesome. Well, they have them, but in spooky shapes. Look at this. We've got witches hats, we've got pumpkins, we've got cats. This is the coolest thing ever. I actually was so happy when I saw these. Like I just wasn't expecting it. They're so cool. And I absolutely love turkey dinosaurs. So now I get to basically eat like a kid for my dinner. So yeah, I'm gonna pop these in the oven and then I can try them out. I know I'm gonna love these spooky shapes, but I've never actually had prawns before, even though I hate fish, never actually tried prawns so maybe they won't be as bad as i think they're gonna be so this is tonight's dinner it actually looks so odd not having any veg on my plate because you know you just have veg with your dinner it's just weird not having any but i couldn't find any halloween themed veg excuse what i'm wearing i put my dressing gown over my clothes because i'm that cold it's just freezing okay so i think i'm gonna try a prawn first they actually just like stunk the whole kitchen out like as soon as i put them in the oven oh dude they smell so bad They're not actually too bad. I think the smell is the worst thing. I definitely wouldn't describe it as like being really yummy, but compared to other fish that I've tried, like cod and haddock, this is much better. Whatever this is that they're wrapped in helps like take the taste away as well. I'm actually really full, I couldn't finish that. And these prawns actually tasted worse the more of them I ate. Like, they just, oh, I, nah, I won't eat them again. <laughs> it's now time for my dessert. I cannot wait to eat something else because honestly, those prawns, I actually feel really sick after them. Like the taste is just not going away. It started off okay, the more I ate, they were just so minging and I can't get rid of the taste in my mouth and every time like I picture them, I'm just like Ugh. But anyways, for my dessert, I have one of these, I don't know what they're called, like you know how you get like the toffee apples um, around Halloween time? Well this one is a chocolate one and I've never had one of these before. It's covered in chocolate and then it's got sprinkles as well. It looks so cute. I don't know how to eat this without getting it everywhere. But oh my god, the chocolate smells amazing. I've never had an apple covered in chocolate. I just don't know what to expect. Oh my god, that is so good. It's such a weird combination, but it works. The sprinkles are going everywhere. I don't know why it's taken me this long to try one. They're so good. And the chocolate on this is amazing. This was also from Iceland, if you're wondering. Is this healthy? Because it's an apple. I mean, it's covered in chocolate, but it's still fruit. <laughs> No way, did you see that? <laughs> How did that not smash everywhere? Like, oh my god. <laughs> I was just about to say that this is what I was gonna eat for the last thing today, but this was opened because Laura had one and it just came rolling out. But for some weird reason, like the blood from the eyeball didn't go anywhere. Or like nothing's on my pajamas, that's so weird. But yeah, these are eyeball cupcakes and this is from Asda. I thought those were like the coolest cupcakes ever. Like the other ones were just normal cupcakes with just like green icing, but this one has an eyeball in it. But uh, Laura was saying that she couldn't eat the eyeball. <laughs> Did you manage to eat it's it? Real, I think it's white chocolate, but I think I was just too full that I just felt so sickly. How could you not bite your teeth do that? I don't know. Is it just white chocolate? Mm. I don't know. I think it's just because I was really full. And I left no, it's like, it's like icing, I think. I don't know. Yeah. Mmm. Is that jam on the top? Yeah. But you hate jam, huh? Yeah, I like jam in things, like cakes, but it's <coughs> not on its own. Who the hell eats jam? <laughs> oh. 
<laughs> you get your jam out. It's just like... <laughs> well, this has been... What I meant was jam and sandwich or jam on toast. I only like it in cakes or biscuits. That's so good. It's literally just like a normal cupcake but with an eyeball. So I'm gonna end this video here. This was such a fun video to film. I really enjoyed it. And I pretty much enjoyed most of what I ate today. And you know what? I'm just really impressed I managed to actually get like proper meals, like not just sweets. I thought that that was basically all I was gonna be able to eat, but I actually feel like I did pretty well. So yeah, I'm really happy with how this challenge went. Let me know in the comments down below if you enjoyed watching this video and also let me know what your favourite thing to eat at Halloween is, like what's your favourite Halloween treat? I would love to know. Thanks so much for watching guys and I'll see you again very very soon. Bye!